Hey guys! In this video we're making a simple double strand sliding knot bracelet. This one has a single sliding knot and when you use two different colours you get this cute little overlap on the knot. It's a really simple design and makes it look like you're wearing two single strand bracelets. For this design we're using two 20 inch lengths of 2mm satin nylon cord. Now we start with this longer length on the left hand side and bring it around to overlap our cords on the top. So we've now got this longer length sitting on the top. While we're making this design we want to try and keep our two cords together. Now I like to place my left index finger alongside the bottom cord. And now we bring this top longer cord down the back and around our finger to form our first loop. And then again for a second and third loop as well. Once you've got your three full loops around, we gently remove them off our finger. Then with our tail end cords that we wrapped around, we gently bend them around and poke them both down all three loops. Pulling them out the right hand side. And then gently pulling this knot down nice and tight and tidy. If you pull your loops down and they're still in order then you should have this cute little alternating colour pattern and your knot should slide along the other cord, so you can check that as well. If you're happy with it, then pull this barrel knot nice and tight. You want to make sure both threads are the same length in the bracelet, so pull them nice and tight together. Now we want to size our bracelet. So adjust your bracelet out so that it fits over your wrist. That's the maximum it needs to be. Then we can pop a little stopper knot on each end so that it doesn't disappear inside the sliding knot. A simple overhand knot is fine with both threads making sure they're pulled nice and even. Now just check that your threads around the bracelet are pulled nice and even as well before you tie that second stopper knot on. Now you can pull your bracelet a little bit smaller so that it's the size you want. You can check it on your wrist as well if needed. Once you're happy then you want to make sure this knot sits nice and even with the knot on the other thread as well. Pulling them nice and tight. Once you've checked over your whole bracelet and everything's sliding okay and sitting nice and evenly, then you can go ahead and cut those little ends off just outside the knots and cinch the ends so they don't fray. And there's your double strand sliding knot bracelet.